Elvis, how was this explained to you and what do you make of the, the situation that you're currently in? Uh, I mean, uh, I didn't have much explanation. It's, uh, it, 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 it is an organization decision. It's uh, something that I can control. Um, I'm, I, I was stable number one. Uh, I just jumped straight on number three. Um, I did not like it that, obviously. I don't think anybody anybody would like that. Uh, but again, it's, it was organization's decision. Uh, I'm healthy. I'm good to go. I, I can play. Uh, again, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. The only thing what I can do is uh, practice the minutes what I can practice as a third goalie and uh, support my teammates as much as I can and do my hard work in the gym. And, uh, and just and just wait uh, wait to what's going to happen. The numbers would say, and really anybody who's watched you play this year would say you've been a dramatically better goaltender this year than yes, last. Yes, I am. Does does a move does this move surprise you given that if this were last year maybe it wouldn't have been a shock. This exactly, year? that's what I'm telling you. Um, from my perspective, uh, obviously, again, it's not my decision, and and and. and my feelings, no, honestly, nobody cares. I mean, it's normal. It's it, it, this is the part of the business. Uh, I'm hot. I played good, uh, in my opinion. Um, I'm honest with myself. I can't blame myself in, in many goals where uh, where I did mistake. You know, like ah, I obviously should get that one. Uh, like last year. Last year I felt awful. I was goddamn like from four goals, three goals were mine, and I felt bad because I let down the guys. Uh, here we we are working far we are working hard and and uh, the results are not coming but I, I believe they can come it's just it's just it is what it is uh, honestly it's not up to me why we are not scoring in power play like I, honestly I'm honest I always said I don't understand even what they are doing in power play like it's not my job uh, and being third number three just like this in one moment uh, that shocked me that surprised me. But then uh, talking to, to my agent and an agent talking, uh, we, we agreed on, uh, on, on, on new scenario. There, there has to be a new scenario for me, for my career, I, I believe so. Uh, you all know, I love Columbus. Uh, this is my home. Uh, my son born here. Uh, I'm going to keep the house here. This is my home. I'm going to spend my summers here. But now I'm, I'm still Blue Jacket, and I'm going to be Blue Jacket. I'm going to play hard. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the future. Have you, you asked for a trade? Whoa. Sorry, have, you, have you asked for a trade? It's, uh, I, I just want to be treated as number one. I believe that I am number one. Um, it's, it's not, it, it, didn't, it didn't went to that point that I am requesting. It went to the point that uh, both sides agreed. Uh, now, I didn't spoke to anybody. Obviously, that's not on me. That's why I'm paying my agent. So my agent did that, and and, and Yarmo they spoke, or with whoever he spoke. So uh, it's from both sides agreed. Uh, now what's gonna happen? I have no idea. Again, uh, if I get to play, I play. I'm uh, gonna give my best because boys deserve doing the best. Uh, this is my family. I mean, I'm dead serious. Like I grew up with here in NHL. My career, I grew up with Z and. And who else is Boone here? You know, like all these players are my. To me, they're my brothers. Like I have great memories with them together. But uh, yeah, again, this is business, and it's not what I'm handling it. I want to play. I'm not gonna be number three. I can assure you that. Uh, especially for hard work, what I did uh, this summer, mentally and physically. Um, I, I just, I just want to play my game and uh, and keep having fun like I had. Right now, I didn't play hockey for what, 16 days, 17, 18, 19, 20. I don't know. So uh, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna have fun and play my hockey and uh, uh, give the best what I can. Do you, Do you have any idea who's playing tomorrow? Have you been told? No, I have no, no. idea about that. When you said both sides hey, agree, hey, does that mean both? Hang on. One, two more, and then he's got a PA meeting. When you say both sides agree, does that mean both sides have agreed to seek a trade? We decided to have a new scenario. Yeah, it's. I don't know what they're gonna do. This is not on me. It's not my plan. Uh, but again, I, how I can tell you, I'm not gonna sit as a third goalie. Uh, I, even when Corpy was here, I, I, I told you many times, guys, I'm not backup and I won't be backup. I believe in myself. You can call me arrogant. 
I don't, I honestly right now I'm gonna copy the the words of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. If you know who is it, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. I know that I'm not number two or three, and I won't be it. Do you feel like uh, any of this stems from that Tom Wilson incident at all, or no? No, no, not at all. Um, I am honest. Uh, you know, uh, hockey it's full of emotion game, and. Uh, I lost my control over there. Uh, good job for Wilson. He won. Uh, it's still burnt that he won mentally. He got in my mind. Uh, it's been a long time that somebody got inside my mind, and, and he did it. And it burns a little bit. But uh, good job of him on that. But uh, no, uh, I spoke to Pazzi next day, um, and from my side, I apologize right away. Uh, we had great uh, 60 minutes. We could win that game. And I let down all my team, and I felt bad. And I'm honest, and the next morning I apologized to Pazzi, and Pazzi asking me if I can do that in front of the team, and, and I apologized to my teammates. They worked hard, they were battling, they were fighting all the time, and because of one that little incident, it cost, cost us a game and, and, uh, and a point, right? So uh, I just, I apologize, and we moved on. There is nothing to have to do with that. Uh, I can assure you with that. Where does this end? Do you know? Are you, do you know when you're going to play again? That, that, that there's, the, the, there's the organization has them. I have no idea. I, like I said, I'm working hard, practicing, getting ready for when is going to be my moment. Try to find right away that wave. Uh, because again, I told you, I, well, I, there is many days that I didn't play hockey, so I have to find that wave and go right away on my my feet and play my best game as uh, as I was doing it. Can you assess where you are with uh, your former number one goalie? Former? Who's that? Okay. Is he playing Saturday? He's uh, he's going to be on the bench. He's going to be part of the group. So he's moved up a slot. No, he doesn't. Uh, he's not. Who called him a number three? He did. He did? He did. Okay. Well, we have three goalies. Let's put it this way. So he will back up Tarasov tomorrow? Yeah. He said he, he said he has not asked for a trade, but that he and the club have both agreed to find a new scenario. I assume that means you've talked at length about what his future is. Can you divulge what you think his future is? I, this is uh, above my pay grade. Um, I talked to Elvis about the situation here. Uh, now what's going to happen beyond that? Um, Elvis is a good goalie, a really good goalie. As far as the coaches are concerned, we need to see what Daniel has. And, and we know Elvis can play. He's having a good season. Now, what does it mean for Elvis in the future? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, this is it's a question for somebody else. I, I know you said yesterday um, that, it, you know, the Tom Wilson thing, this isn't a punishment for that or anything like that. Yeah. Um, when that something like that happens, I, I think it's, if it's a lot of other goalies, maybe it's considered a one-off and it, it goes away. Elvis has had some issues here with you know emotions and things like that before. Is is there anything from that 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 you know maybe triggered something that you thought like? I, I'm telling you, no. It, it's um, I understand the question. I really do. Um, but I don't, even in my day-to-day -day life, when I'm not the coach, I'm just Pascal, I don't. I deal with issues, then I move on. We dealt with it, spoke to Elvis. Elvis spoke to the team. He did it the proper way, like a man, uh, addressed the team, and then we moved on. There's, there's no consequences more than that. If that's what happened, we didn't like it. He didn't like it. Uh, we communicated how we felt, how we felt. And then he, he spoke to the team, and then we moved on. It has nothing to do with this. We want to see what Daniel has. And he hasn't played much in the last three years. We have to make decisions uh, moving on. Moving. I mean, we have Spencer that is here as well. He's, he's been playing good for us. We have to make some decisions. But before making decisions, we need data. And um, that data is coming from playing. Did you see a, a scenario down the line that, that, <coughs> that Elvis is the, the guy that you decide on going forward? Yes, yeah, he could be. I mean, he's. We have three goalies, and we need to decide who's going to be 
the guy moving forward. I, Elvis uh, feels he's a number one. I like that about him. Uh, Daniel feels he's a number one. And if you ask, ask Spencer, given a chance, he feels he can be a number one. And that's what we want. We want to create that co competition. But right now, we're trying to make informed decisions. It's never easy for any team to have three goalies. It's not good for the players, not good for the goalies, not good for the coaches. How long is this sustainable to carry three goalies? Well, it's not that it's not good. It's not ideal, and we all know it. It's it's like having the, even for the goalies, they want to have the net for the full practices, and you know it, it makes things a little bit more complicated. But that's the situation we're dealing right now with, and and it's not a big problem it's not it's just not ideal but that's that's where we are and and i understand why we're, we're there i mean daniel has been injured for quite some time and then he's coming back we have to protect ourselves and you know i i should also add uh, jet greaves in the mix because he's uh, he's been really good at camp so he's the one pushing from cleveland and so having said that you know what's a bad decision is when you don't have goalies we have guys that want to be number one. They want to play. Elvis is not happy that he's not playing. I'm not saying it's easy on him. And I understand the perception, one, two, and three, and, and all of that. And um, But that's a position we're in. And, and I like to be in that position. We have some options. We just need to decide what is the right option. Do you have a timetable for that? Any no. idea? No. When you, when you look at... Uh... I mean, that position in, in particular, I mean, it kind of goes without saying, but just how important is it to find the guy going forward so that you guys can kind of like build around that? Well, it's huge, not only for the team, for the future, for the room. It's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a key position. And I've been lucky to have really good goalies in the past. I've coached guys like Marc-Andre Fleury and Andre Pavlik. Hellebuck was in Winnipeg. Uh, I know the importance of having a good guy and when you have that right person in between the pipes that the team believes in, it just it creates a little bit of confidence and it's not something you can, you can really evaluate with numbers, but it's just a feeling and, um, and it matters a lot.